Now, with the release of the Light Funnel stores, it is now easy to start promoting your products on Google Shopping. And the way you do that is using the Google Shopping and Product Feeds app. So let's see how that works. First, you go to, to your stores. And for this demo, let's say we have this demo store that we want to use on Google Shopping. So we will need to sync the products of this store with Google Shopping and Google Merchants. So let's see our products tab. Under here, you see that we have several products and we already have some upsells uh, going on. So everything is correctly set up. And what you want to do is go to apps and look for Google Shopping and product feeds. If it's not installed yet, you'll find it down here. You just click install and then you open it. Now, what this allows us to do is sync the products from a store to Google Merchants. And your Google Merchants account will be holding all of the information about your products that you can then use in Google Shopping uh, ads to promote them. So uh, what you need for that is a product feed, which is just a text file or an XML file uh, that holds data about your products. So let's see, for example, this file right here. You can see that it's uh, an XML file that has a bunch of inf information about our products. Now let's create a new uh, XML file, and these files are called, are called feeds. So they are product feeds. So we will create a new feed. And let's go through these steps. So you have several steps here that allow you to change the content of this uh, XML file or if this product feed. Um, the, under, under the general tab, we will give a name. So let's call it demo feed. And then as a target country, you can uh, select one of the countries that is supported uh, on Google Shopping. So one of these countries on this list, let's use United States. And for the language, we'll use English. And for the currency, we'll do US dollars. Next. So here you have the option to choose uh, to promote all of your stores at the same time under the same feed, or you can select specific stores. For this demo, we're gonna just go into with the one store that we want to use, and that is the demo store right here. Next. And here you have the option to choose which products you want to promote uh, on your feed, or which products you want to include on your feed in order to promote them later. So you can include all products you can include specific products that you choose under the drop down here and you can also exclude specific products or include products by collections so if you know the collection that you want to promote you can include it here so we'll keep it all products and we will go next now in here you have the option to um, uh, sync or map the categories of your products so by default you have all products so you need to choose a category for all products this will match all of your products say for example my um, my uh, store is about jewelry. So I will go to accessories here and I will choose jewelry. I can keep it keep it selected here and click save or go uh, one step further and have like uh, earrings or something selected. But I will keep it jewelry here and click save. And then you can add more categories. So that's the general category and you, you can be more specific if you know uh, the tags of the products that you want to group in a certain category, you can do it here. So here you have all the products that you have. You can see that we have a lot of uh, testing uh, tags. So uh, let's say, for example, we have books and uh, I'm, going, I'm going to go ahead and select a category that matches uh, those books. All right, so um, yeah, I'm not going to do that for this uh, demo. I'm just going to keep all products uh, jewelry and click next. All right, so the last step gives you uh, information um, that, that you want to include for each product. So you have the product ID, product title, description. So here you can choose where you want to pull that product, that uh, data from. Generally here, uh, all this uh, initial setup is all good. You just uh, need to create your, um, a, your feed and you should be good to go. Now, demo feed was created here and you can click on this link and you can see that you already have an XML feed that is already uh, created for you with all the information of, about your product. So what you want to do is just copy the link of this feed. And now we want to go to Google Shopping, rather Google Merchant, to add this feed to our uh, Google Merchant account. So once you are in, a, in your Google Merchant account, what you want to go to, to do is go to products and then go to feeds. And here you want to create a new feed, all right? So. Choose the target country. So for here, we've got, we are going to use uh, United States and language is going to be English. And let's call it uh, demo feed. 
All right, so we want we want it to be both on the free listing and on the shopping ads. All right, so continue. And in here, you want to select schedule fetch. This is um, going to fetch your products from your feed on a schedule. So let's call it uh, demo, demo store feed and schedule feed continue and enter a name for your feed. So yeah, same demo store feed and we are going to paste the URL of our feed here and we don't have any password on our feed. So that's gonna be empty and then we will create our feed. Now, once the feed is created, uh, Google will start fetching data from your feed uh, every now and then, depending on the schedule that you have on the settings. In the initial, in the, like when you just create the feed, you can click fetch now, and it's going to fetch uh, the products from your feed right now without waiting for the schedule to trigger. And in a few minutes, you will see your products uh, added to, to, to your Google Merchant Center. From here, you can go to Google Ads and create a shopping ad and uh, think, uh, like use the products from your Google Merchant Center uh, that you have just, just just imported using your feed. And that's how you promote your products on Google Shopping uh, using uh, LightFunnel stores.